Section planes let you look inside of 3D models. You can move the section planes to see different parts of the insides. The BricsCAD ribbon has no panel or tab for sections, and so I've opened up the sections toolbar. The command for creating a section plane is this first button. So I'm going to click it, and down here in the command prompt, the easiest way to create a section is to choose orthographic, and then one of the faces. Let's do top. So there it's been sliced in half and you can look now look inside. I'm orbiting it around by holding down the shift key and the middle mouse button as I drag the mouse. So you can see inside of it. The line represents the section plane and as you put your cursor over it you can see the extent of the section plane. If I undo and repeat the command it's time to front. And so now it is sliced vertically. Again, the line is the section plane. With the section plane in place, click on it to display it and then you notice the green grips. This arrow flips it back and forth so you can have either the front or the back displayed. This grip moves the section plane back and forth so you see more or less. Finally, this grip rotates the section plane around. Section planes don't have to be flat planes. They can also be three-dimensional. So restart the section plane command and then choose the draw option. I'm gonna use entity snaps to help me. So I'm gonna grab the midpoint of there, the center of this, and we'll go again over here. Okay, press enter to finish. And then it says which side do you want to see because there's two sides to a section plane. So I'll click on that side and now we have the quarter view of that turbine. Once again, you click here and now you have a three-dimensional section plane which you can flip back and forth as before. Drag in and out. Rotate. And so on. One command missing from the sections toolbar is section plane settings. And despite its name, it, it does not open the settings dialog box, but the drawing explorer to the section setting. And we can now change its properties. So for example, clip display is on and turn it off. The entire model is again shown. Repeat the command, clip display on, and it's clipped again change the transparency of the clipping plane so let's make it a 10 so you can see what the effect is turn that off and it's quite a bit darker we can change the color so let's take a, a bright yellow okay and now it's yellow and over here we have all kinds of settings that affect the look so these buttons here apply to the settings of the different kinds of sections Section planes are dynamic, meaning you can change them. So if you want to be able to freeze a particular section plane, you do that with this button, which is called the section plane to block command. Click it, and this dialog box pops up. Parts of it are like uh, inserting a block. I am going to say the scale is one, rotation angle is zero, but I'll specify the location on screen, and I'll tell you why that's important later. Notice you can uh, replace existing block if you already have one in the drawing or else export it as a DWG file. But we're not going to do that. We're going to select the entity, which is this turbine, and then uh, we're going to select the section plane. Now remember the section plane is represented by this black line, so move your cursor over that, click, and you've selected the section plane. Now there's two types, 2D and 3D, and I'm going to show you what both of them are like. So first we'll do the 2D and then it says insertion point, but what's happening? Oh, you can't see it. And that's because you're in front of the uh, cutaway section, it's invisible. So I found the best thing to do is to move around to the back, to the visible of the 3D solid, click and place it there. Now let's repeat the command to do the 3D version. Select the turbine, select the cutting plane, 
and now choose 3D. Click OK. Same thing, you have to move it around to the back here in order to be able to see it. So now you can go in and change your cutting plane any way you want and the uh, blocks will remain looking the same. We've been looking at section planes, which you can move around and which generate a 3D block. If you explode the block, it's a 3D solid, and similarly the 2D version, if you explode that, it splines. How does this differ from the section command? Here we have the same 3D model. I'm gonna run quickly run the section command, and I'm gonna use the three points option to uh, grab three points to define the plane, and then we can move the section that's in there can be modified as a region, so example extruded, but it can't be modified interactively like the section plane. So the section plane is a visual aid. The section command actually produces an entity.